A newly elected Speaker of the Senate, Amazon Jeff Akingi, is no stranger to the hallowed halls of Parliament, having served in the National Assembly before taking up public office in the first cohort of governors under the new constitution. This morning, he received an overwhelming majority support to become the third Speaker of the House, which begins its fourth session. And Tavizil El Mohammed tells us more about the man, the politician, and now Speaker. And having met the threshold of uh, two-thirds is uh, duly declared, and I so declare, to be elected as Speaker of the Senate. Amazon Jeffa Kingi steps back into the pressings of Parliament, taking his place inside the Senate chamber as the country's third Speaker under the new constitutional dispensation, even though he will be overseeing the life of the fourth Senate since independence, but the third under the 2010 Constitution. I'm deeply humbled and touched by the immense confidence and trust that you have placed on me. I therefore accept with humility and pledge that I shall perform to my utmost ability. Kingi, who has served in the public service for decades, spending five years as a legislator in the National Assembly, is no stranger to the presence of Parliament, in which he begins his five-year stint of service as Speaker. Convention. Kingi's candidature, fronted by the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition, bears fruit with 46 senators voting in his favor, with a resounding majority in the first round of the exercise. Even as he looked into the future of service to country, he delved into how history of the House will shape the kind of leader he will become. He now takes office to preside over a House which kept him and 46 others in check on financial management of the devolved units since 2013. He was amongst the first cohort of 47 governors who were sworn into office in 2013 in a new tier of government under devolution due to changes in government born out of the new constitution. Up until August 9, 2022, he was serving out his final term as governor after recapturing that seat in 2017 on an ODM ticket. Kenyans are looking forward to a new dawn. He brings to the table 25 years of experience in public service, 15 of which were in political positions at the national and county levels. Prior to his election as a governor, he was the Minister for Fisheries Development between 2010 and March 2013. He has also served as the Minister for East African Community between 2008 and 2010. He has served as a Member of Parliament for Magarini from 2003 to 2013. Leila Mohamed, NTV.